In this video, we are going to talk about 10 money traps you must avoid in 2023. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Money trap are traps which makes people spend money on things or service that they don't require or need. These traps prevent hardworking people from growing their wealth and make them work till 60s in order to make enough to retire. Money traps are a slow drain on your financial health. Think, The Money Pit, with Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. Except, in most cases, the money trap isn't as obvious as an old and dilapidated mansion. I want to help people get ahead of the game so they're not struggling to catch up later. Here are some really good starting points that you can do right now. Here are 10 money traps you must avoid in 2023. So let's start. Number 10 Investment Scams Don't ever give your money or personal information to someone who offers unwanted investment advice or pressures you to invest in something, right now, so you don't miss out. People like that know that FOMO, fear of missing out, is real, and they prey on it. That should send up all kinds of money trap, red flags in your mind. You might even get a phone call or email that seems legit, but watch out if they promise a high return with zero risk. Just like grandma always says, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Australians lose more money to investment scams than any other. They can be hard to spot, so before investing always seek independent legal advice or financial advice from a financial advisor who is registered with ASIC. Number 9 Payday Loans Life happens. Sometimes life hits us with those out of the blue money emergencies, the transmission goes out, your HVAC unit dies, you have way too much fun on the dance floor at your cousin's wedding and wind up in the ur with a broken ankle. Your emergency fund won't cover the bills, so maybe some quick cash from a payday loan lender would help? Forget that, don't let your panic call the shots for your wallet, especially when it comes to payday loans. These guys are the worst of the worst in the financial industry. Payday loans are a rip-off and a money trap. Those people don't want to help you. They want to take advantage of you and make you end up paying crazy, ridiculous interest for that loan. As these loans qualify for many state lending loopholes, borrowers should beware. In California, for example, a payday lender can charge a 14-day APR of 460% for a $100 loan. Finance charges on these loans also are a significant factor to consider, as the average fee is $15 per $100 of loan. Number 8 Surprise Contest Winnings Pro Tip If you ever get an email saying you won a contest or the lottery, and they ask you to pay a fee to claim the prize, it's a scam. Especially if you don't remember entering. Do not click on pop-ups that say you won an Amazon gift card or something crazy like that. It might seem like a no-brainer to not click on stuff like that, but you'd be surprised by how many people fall for it. We get it. Who doesn't want, free, money? No matter how enticing it may be, don't fall for it. Number 7 Subscription Scams Okay, we already told you how much we like a good deal. But what we don't like are shady companies trying to take advantage of you. And that's what some subscription companies do. Here's how you can tell a good one from a scam. If the company offers you a free trial but doesn't tell you up front what the cost will be after the trial period, run. Look all over the website. If they're hiding or leaving out this important detail, it's a trap. If cancelling that free trial is impossible and no humans are available to talk. Hey, a free trial can be a great way to test out a service, especially one you're already interested in. Just make sure you know the cost that comes after and the cancellation terms. Just in case. And while we're on the subject, make sure to budget for your subscriptions. An app here, a subscription or two there. It adds up fast. Subscription traps take place when you sign up online or on the phone for free or low-cost trials of products, only to find that you have been unwittingly locked into costly repeat payments. Typically, these products are slimming pills, health foods, pharmaceuticals and anti-aging products but, increasingly, attractive consumer durable products such as the latest mobile phone are being featured. Number 6 Playing the Lottery Everyone dreams about becoming a millionaire overnight. But instead of putting in the work, people would rather pay for a chance to win big. In the lottery. Sure, a $10 scratch card is a small price to pay when there are 10 zeros on the line. But the odds of you actually winning the lottery are slim to none. Instead of spending your hard-earned money on the super rare chance of winning more money, why not get on track to getting rich quick, the right way? Spoiler alert. We're talking about hard work and following the baby steps all the way to becoming a millionaire. 
The odds of winning something were lower and those of claiming at least a share of the Powerball jackpot significantly better before the Multi-State Lottery Association, which runs the game on behalf of 38 U.S. states and territories, changed the rules in 2015, increasing the number of white balls from 59 to 69 while lowering the number of Powerballs from 35 to 26. Powerball has been revamped seven other times in its 23-year history so that the game can continue to be attractive to players by delivering the big jackpots that players want, and these new changes will do just that, the executive director of the Texas Lottery said ahead of the changes. Number 5 Home Equity Line of Credit When you're living paycheck to paycheck, there's no room for emergencies. Especially ones with zeros on the end. So, what can you do? If you own a home, you might think a home equity line of credit, or HELOC, could be a good idea. After all, you're just borrowing money from the value of your home. What could go wrong? You'll pay it back, right? Stop what you're doing right now and throw that idea back where it came from. Taking a loan from your home's equity is a bad idea. Not only are you going into more debt, you're putting the roof over your head at risk. If you take out that loan and can't pay it back, your house is on the line. Number 4 Adjustable Rate Mortgages About 15 years ago, adjustable rate mortgages arms, were the hip, cool way to buy a home. With arms, you lock in a low interest rate for a short period of time, and after that, your rate can go up yearly, or every few years, at the market rate. And if that rate is sky high, your mortgage payments will be too. Potentially leaving you unable to pay your mortgage. Ouch. That's exactly what happened back when the housing market crashed in 2008, causing foreclosures and bankruptcies galore. V look, it doesn't matter if it's a 3-year or a 5-year arm. The fact is, your interest rate is adjustable, which means your rate isn't locked in forever and will go up, and you'll have zero control over it. When you get an arm, you're playing with fire, why take the risk? Instead, play it safe with a 15-year fixed rate mortgage and get that house paid off sooner. Number 3 Timeshares Imagine this. Someone offers you a free vacation. Heck yes. The only catch? You have to come to a business meeting while you're there. Sounds easy enough. But here's what's really going to go down. In this little, innocent looking meeting, you'll get pressured to buy a timeshare, but they'll never tell you that ahead of time. Pissed. That has money trap written all over it. Here's the thing. Timeshares are usually marketed to people who can't afford them. That's their whole marketing strategy. And if you do buy one and ever want to sell it, good luck. You can't give the dang things away. So, if you're thinking of buying a timeshare, don't. You might as well chuck your money in a trash can. The timeshare trap is the catch-22 that many timeshare owners find themselves in when they decide they want to sell their timeshare. After paying thousands of dollars for a timeshare, many find that they are unable to even give their timeshare away for free due to the yearly maintenance fees. Timeshare owners find that they are trapped with a timeshare they don't want because there is no way to get rid of it. Number 2 Car Leases We've all been there. You're driving your grandma's paid for, hand-me-down Buick, when your friend drives up in a brand new BMW with high-quality speakers, heated seats and temperature-controlled cup holders. Fancy. That Beamer looks a lot sweeter than your beater. Your mind starts wandering. Wouldn't it be great to trade in your Buick for a nice car, something like that? Who cares if you don't have all the money for it right now? Should you want to end your lease early, you might have to pay a pretty penny to get out of the agreement. It depends on the terms of your lease, but you might have to pay the difference between how much the car has depreciated and what you have already paid for it. In some cases, this charge might be several thousand dollars. One of the great things about leasing a car, whether it's a personal car lease or business car leasing contract, is that almost anyone can do it. If you hold a full UK driving license you can inquire on any car leasing contract. It is, however, worth remembering that you will need to be put through external credit approval with one of our affiliated finance companies to make sure you will be able to fund your monthly lease car payments. Rest assured this is a quick and easy process. Number 1 No Money Down Plans So, you're ready to start adulting and buy yourself a brand new couch. The one you got from the thrift store 10 years ago finally bit the dust. This is a big deal. A rite of passage even. So don't ruin it by signing up for a payment plan with no money down. Look, putting 0% down might sound like a no-brainer, but the no money down trap is just another way to get you locked into making long-term payments on stuff you need to pay for up front. Never mind the fact that you're financing something you sit on, 
but now you don't actually own that couch either. Instead of putting no money down, here's a better idea. Save up some cash and put all the money down. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.